Well, Liam, before we get on to the football side of things, what a fantastic summer it's been for your sister, Alice. Yeah, she's had a fantastic uh, couple of weeks getting the two uh, two medals at the Commonwealth and going to the Europeans, getting two medals there as well. She's over the moon. I think she can have a nice little rest now and then prepare for a, a next tournament in Liverpool, uh, whenever that is. I mean, it must be such a fantastic experience for you guys as a family as well to see her effectively right at the top of her game. Yeah, I mean, I managed to get a ticket for the Commonwealth to go and watch her at, and she had a fantastic uh, competition day when I went to watch her and um, it was a roller coaster. A couple of weeks for her, she wanted to win some stuff that she didn't win and then ended up winning stuff that she uh, didn't expect to win. So, um, all in all, it was a fantastic uh, couple of weeks and she's over the moon. Into the football side of things now, it was a defeat on Tuesday night, but on the basis of things, five games in, it's been a, a very good start for the side. Yeah, um, like you said, it's been a very good start. Tuesday, uh, we, we shouldn't put in a performance like that, especially first half, the way we started and set our standards uh, as a, as a, a team. Um, we were below par, but like you say, it was been a good start and we can, we can certainly build on that start of the season that we've had and uh, take it into Saturday. Do you think that comes down to fixture congestion almost? It, a little bit of fatigue coming in there, it's a long trip, you know, there's been a real you know, fast-paced start to the season, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of travelling, but like I said, it's the same for every club, they've got to travel to club clubs across the, the league and, 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 and travel as well. Uh, we did everything right. We we travelled and did exactly what we sh thought we should have done. And the same will go for Saturday. We're going to travel down um, and be fully prepared for Saturday. We've seen you combative as always in the centre of the park. You've played maybe a little bit further up at, at times with, with comms just in behind you. Is that something you've been tasked with this year, pressing that little bit further up? Or that's just part of your game as well? Well, I mean, yeah, it's part of my game as well, but I think because you've got comms behind you, it gives you that, that licence to get forward a little bit more to try and win the ball higher up the pitch and then set away the attacking players to do what they do and score the goals. Um, it's something we've been working on during training, um, just trying to play as high as possible and win the ball as high as possible up the pitch and it makes it easier to go and score a goal then. This weekend is a, a perfect opportunity for us to, to bounce back. By perfect opportunity, I mean that the game has come round so quickly that you've not really been able to sit and dwell on uh, Tuesday night. Nah, spot on. I mean, we've got, gone through the game, know what we've done wrong and where we can improve. Um, and then, like you said, it come, comes around quick and fast and we've got a game Saturday against Gillingham and we can put things right and get back on track and get towards the top of the table.